See, it's too late to emote now. Oh, shit! I can emote now! Holy shit! See, this is it! This is the emo meta! You guys don't understand! Did he see that? Oh my god! I've broken it! I've... Holy shit! As much as I like Crawling Sensation... I honestly kind of don't like Crawling Sensation that much. My ratios here are a little strange. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it does kind of look something like this. This looks fine. <clears throat> I'm kind of liking the Draven. I think Draven's just kind of a sick card in general, and I honestly fucking hate Darius. I think Darius is just kind of like... I mean, he's definitely playable, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's bad, I just think he's, like, very escapable. And I think these decks are just overutilizing it. Try running Vlad in this deck. Uh... No, I don't think so. Is he a real Heimerdinger? What the heck? I'm gonna keep, I'll keep Glimpse here. That seems fine. Vlad is the worst prankster, basically. Yeah, I mean, you might save Vlad and prankster have synergy, but I think that's kind of a trap mentality. Won't get past me. And not the good kind of trap. I mean, playing at least is, is what? It's vulnerable to, like, Thermo Beam? It's so weird. Is it is it maybe better to play Horror instead of Elise? Because that's like... Honestly, I think it is. I'm I'm actually I'm serious. I think I just play horror here. Is that weird? Cuz that's that's not what Aggro Brain would dictate. Aggro Brain would never dictate playing horror here. But I really don't want to send my Elisa to die when she forces removal that's going to get me value on like Mark or Glimpse. Aggro Brain is screaming at me to just get it in early, but I think I I actually think that's better, isn't it? Happy to do whatever. Whoa. Wow. You are happy with a thermo? More so than a mystic shot? That's not true at all. Why would I be happy with a thermo there? If he just kills my Elise for free when I don't have to let him do that? That just seems terrible, right? Nothing to fear. Agar Brain told you to float three mana. Now Agar Brain was screaming at me to not float the mana. Hmm. My Agar Brain is telling me to attack right now. How how fucking trolly is it to not attack here? That's like basically the second round I've floated, and I've only had two attacks, so that's like basically a- I basically haven't attacked yet. I- I actually kind of want to float this. Maybe I'm just not an aggro player, man. I literally just don't have aggro brain tendencies. It's like I feel like this attack is horrible. <laughs> oh, man. This is- this is why I just can't play aggro. It's too hard. It's too hard to resist the urge to make the make the plays that make sense intuitively. And you just have to stick it in. I know, I'll beat the Heimer deck in the late game. Listen, I that's what I'm saying. Thank you. 
Honestly, that Skitterer is just pretty premium. You just can't beat that Skitterer value, man. It's impossible. See, now the thing is, he's got to go in for removal on a spider. And that'll give me the glimpse line. That's sick. Yeah, I'll just take it to the mid-game, dude. Why are you running crowd favorite and at least in control, bruh? I mean, look, it's not a control deck. You just play the spot like a control deck. I'm just chilling. Skitter is gonna get nerfed. Yeah, probably. They'll probably just take away one of its numbers or something. They're more likely to just make it like a 2-3 or something like that. I'm basically one eighth gay. Wait. Why would you preempt that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he wanted to discard the target off of Fading Memories? Oh, that's interesting. Basically, Fading Memories is the weakest card in his hand. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Hmm. These are actually awful draws. Wow. Holy shit. This is painful, dude. This is, like, physically painful. I- oh god. I guess I have to pass here. I mean, I need to swing dick with my crawling favorite. Or... <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Yo, Cissé Merlino. What's up, man? Welcome back to the 1-8-K club. Three times crawling sensation is eh. Listen. It's easy to agree with that assertion in spots like this. Oh god, these three top decks are killing me, dude. Oh my god, make it stop. This is horrible. Holy shit, we lost. Oh well, better luck next time. Yeah, I do think Crawling Sensation is more of a 2 of. I think it has to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we just can't attack here either. Honestly, attacking is overrated. Like, when you really think about it, what are you actually accomplishing by attacking? I don't think we honestly need to attack. <laughs> I don't know. This is fine. Yeah, this just seems fine. I mean, we can take him to late game. It's like, what does he have? Ezreal Heimerdinger? I've got crowd favorites. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Agra deck only attacks once in the whole game. Yeah, that turn two attack wasn't even a swing too. We played like Skitterer over Elise. Real aggro brain would have been Elise there. We haven't we haven't swung out all game. We just did one micro attack on turn two. It's not bragging if you could back it up. See, this is fine. What aggro deck is this where the opponent still has 17 life on round seven? Guys, it's a it's a spot call. It's a it's a draw. Like we're we're on we're on a really passive draw. And we're just chilling, okay? See, one of the nuances of this game is you have to know how to play like a Pepega depending on the situation. We just have no good attacks here, guys. Firing. I will say, we probably should have, like, Mark blocked with a spider. I think that would have been good. It's smaller than a diagram. That's what she said. <laughs> Do people still say that? It's been a while since I was in like middle school, but I remember that that's what all the cool kids did. That they said the that's what she said jokes. I don't know. You guys say we haven't attacked yet, but look at look at this board. We're about to attack in so big. It's turn eight and I'm ready to get it in. Look at these attacks. We've got two overwhelm units. This is at least five damage. Yeah. 
But yeah, not not blocking with Mark of the Isles was a pretty big misplay, I think, for sure. If I fall, so be it. <clears throat> Excuse you. Here we go. It's turn eight, but you guys look look at how much damage he's taking. Theoretically, he's taking twenty. Anticipated outcome. Look, theoretically, he's taking like ten. I mean, it's a vengeance, yeah. It's really hard to not be on vengeance here. No way. Unforeseen outcome. See you guys easy. Look at that. The aggro strat pays off. Crawling sensation sucks. This is definitely a two of. <clears throat> it's hard to actually straight blows. Can I just cut it? Like, what has this card ever done for anyone? I mean, he needs to be on, like, second Ezreal from hand here. It's kind of his best bet. It levels Elise. Yeah, but, I mean, you only need to level Elise against, like, Elusive. And ain't nobody playing Elusive right now. Don't think of it as delayed attack, think of it as foreplay to this butt blast that's about to commence. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing about aggro. It's like... It, 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 you need a little foreplay, you know? It's like... You can't just move in, guys. Come on! Take from the rich, give to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Thermo? Yeah. That's fascinating. He's setting both of them to two health. What does he have? Like the double withering whale hand or something? Is this guy for real? Why on earth? You have to be on like double withering whale to do that, right? There's no other hand where you could possibly make that play. Is this guy for real? Wow, he's about to get really fucking disappointed then, huh? I mean, that is the double whale hand. There's... that literally has to be. That can't make sense if it's not double whale. What's that you got there? That sucks, buddy. I'm not going to show the second one. Showing the second one is rude. <clears throat> it, it's very, very polite. Let's see, it's too late to emote now. Oh, shit! I can emote now! Holy shit! See, this is it! This is the emo meta! You guys don't understand! Did he see that? Oh my god! I've broken it! I've... Holy shit! Dude, you guys don't understand the power we've just unlocked! You can emote like seven seconds after the game ends. Do you guys realize the untold BM potential we just unlocked? Holy shit. Oh my god. 
Dude, that's crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've got to start doing that, man.